Hi, Brad from WordPress Sites.net. Uh, this video is about WordPress media and how to increase your, your upload size. By, by default, WordPress only allows you to upload up to 10 meg in size. So if you want to add some videos and they're, they're longer than 2 or 3 minutes, they're probably going to be around 20 to 30 meg. So you're going to have to increase the size if you want to upload them to your media library in the back end of WordPress and the dashboard. So you, what, what you can do is you can, uh, if you don't want to do that, you can just drag them across to your server and do it that way. But I prefer to have everything uh, managed nicely in my, my WordPress media library, or all my, my audio, my videos, and, uh, and all the images. So I'll show you how to do that. It's just a matter of logging into cPanel and, and finding the right file to edit, you just have to change the settings on, on the limits. So uh, I'll just log into cPanel now. Just before I go into cPanel, if you don't have a PHP in uh, file installed on your server, you'll need to install that as well. Uh, the second step is to increase the upload limit. Uh, this is the main step. But you also need to increase the post max file size. If you increase uh, the upload limit to 20 meg and, and your video is 20 meg, then you won't be able to insert any other images if it's, uh, the total, total size is going to be above 20 meg. So, so the PostMax file size needs to be above the upload limit. There's also a full blog post which I've done with screenshots on my, on my site. Um, I, I completed it on the 8th of August, so you can refer to that. We use the search box here in this way to find it under WordPress media and the following this blog post here. Log into, uh, log into your web host cPanel. I'm using Bluehost at the moment, the Bluehost Pro account. I also use HostGator as well. Uh, now just scroll down to uh, software and services and you'll see a little icon PHP config. Just click on that. Now before you start playing around with PHP code, you always want to complete a full backup of your site, including your files and your databases, just in case there's a problem. I use Backup Buddy and I, I, I've got a few banners on the site uh, which directly uh, direct to the site, so it, it's a good idea to create full backup. There's, there's other methods you can use. You can go straight into cPanel and create a full, full backup of your website files and your databases as well. So, uh, now, now we're in here, uh, install default uh, PHP, just click on Ironcube and Source Guardian, uh, click on install PHP in your master file, successfully installed. Now what you can do as well is you can change this from PHP 5 to PHP uh, Fast CGI. Now this will help the site load a lot faster, so you can do that as well. But you have to make sure you've uh, installed the master file before you can do this, otherwise you're going to come up with some side errors and it's not going to, be, it's not going to look pretty at all. So make sure you do this correctly. If your site's now producing errors, then you need to change that back and, uh, and uh, take the steps required. Okay, let's just go back into cPanel now. Now that you've put the PHP in your file, the next step is to uh, is to access the file and we'll just change the limits. So we'll go into File Manager, which is under the File section in cPanel. I've already got a PHP in your file, so I don't need to use this master file which I've just installed. But if you haven't got a PHP in here and you've installed the, the default master file, you'll need to rename it. So just, just click on it, right click on it, and then rename it, and just take away the default there, and, and save the changes. Rename the file, and that's it. Now that'll activate the file, so you'll be okay. If you don't change, if you don't delete the default, it won't work. I don't want it to work, because I've already got one there, so I'll just use that for, for, for to show you. Now, let's right click on PHP Uni, um, and click on Code Edit, and we'll just locate the line that just needs to be changed. Okay, on my blog post I've written line 573, so we locate that and we'll just change the limit from 10 meg up to 100 meg. And here it is here, line 573, 10 meg, you just change that to any figure up to 100 meg, and uh, save the changes, and you're done. So the next video I'll show you how to save uh, 
make changes to the other file.